Culture Vulture Special. Our guide to the New Year Entertainment. The 31st of December 2022 to the 6th of January 2023. Highlights this week include the ITV drama, Stonehouse, Jeff Norcott, Jefferendum on BBC Radio 4, and the first of four Reef Lectures on Freedom. Saturday 31st of December, 2022. You're Dead to Me, Prohibition in the USA 10.30 AM BBC Radio 4. In 1920, the United States implemented the 18th Amendment to the Constitution, also known as Prohibition. This amendment prohibited the manufacture, sale, and transportation of intoxicating liquors, with the intention of promoting temperance and reducing crime and corruption. However, the implementation of Prohibition had unintended consequences. Instead of reducing crime and corruption, it actually led to an increase in both. Bootleggers, illegal alcohol producers and distributors, emerged and thrived in the black market created by prohibition. Speakeasies, underground bars that sold illegal alcohol, also became widespread. Prohibition also caused a divide in society, with those who supported it, known as dries, and those who opposed it, known as wets. This divide was further exacerbated by the rise of organized crime, as criminal organizations took advantage of the black market created by prohibition to make a profit. In this podcast, Greg Jenner is joined by historian Professor Sarah Chuchwell and comedian Kima Bob to explore the origins and aftermath of prohibition in the United States. They delve into the cultural and social changes brought about by prohibition, including the rise of jazz music and the emergence of the new woman in the 1920s. They also discuss the eventual repeal of Prohibition in 1933 with the passage of the 21st Amendment. Jeff Norcott, Jefferendum 12.30 AM BBC Radio 4 In his stand-up special, Jefferendum, comedian Jeff Norcott reflects on the concept of populism and the role of democracy in decision-making. Norcott, who supported the winning side in the Brexit referendum, generally believes that the will of the people should be followed when it comes to voting. However, he begins to question the limits of this belief when faced with the possibility of certain controversial issues being brought to a vote, such as the death penalty and abortion rights. Throughout the special, Norcott engages with his audience to explore the idea of democratic principles and whether or not people truly have them at heart, or if they simply want the world to be arranged in a way that aligns with their personal beliefs, even if it is inconsistent. Through comedic commentary, Norcott delves into the complexities of democracy and its role in shaping society. Sunday, the 1st of January, 2023, New Year's Day. Mary Beard interviews Philip Pullman. Front row late BBC 4 12 p.m. Mary Beard interviews Philip Pullman. Front row late is a BBC 4 program that features a conversation between two prominent figures in the literary world classicist Mary Beard and fantasy novelist Philip Pullman. The interview will likely focus on Pullman's work, including his best-known series, his dark materials, as well as his thoughts on literature, writing, and the creative process. Monday the 2nd of January 2023, Holiday Monday. Vienna, Empire, Dynasty and Dream 8pm BBC 4. Vienna, Empire, Dynasty and Dream is a BBC for documentary that explores the history and cultural significance of Vienna, the capital city of Austria. The documentary delves into the city's rich history as a centre of political, cultural and artistic influence, from its days as the seat of the Austro-Hungarian Empire to its present status as a cosmopolitan hub. The documentary will feature interviews with historians and cultural experts, as well as archival footage and images, to provide a comprehensive look at the city's past and present. It may cover topics such as the city's role in the development of classical music and its status, as a centre of intellectual and artistic innovation. It may also examine the city's turbulent history, including its role in the two world wars and the challenges it has faced in the aftermath of the Cold War. Overall, Vienna, Empire, Dynasty and Dream is a fascinating and informative look at one of Europe's most influential cities. If you're interested in the history and culture of Vienna, or if you're simply curious about the city's past and present, this documentary is definitely worth checking out. Stonehouse, one of three, 9pm ITV1 may contain spoilers. In 1974, John Stonehouse, a successful politician in the UK, finds himself in deep trouble when his double life is exposed. While he has a happy family life with his wife Barbara and three children, 
He also has secret relationships with Czech spymaster Alexander Marek and his secretary Sheila Buckley. Stonehouse has been accepting money in exchange for information from Marek and has been juggling his affair with Sheila, while also spending lavishly on luxuries like a sports car and a grand new house. However, when Labour loses power in the 1970 election, Stonehouse becomes a scapegoat and is left out in the cold by his colleagues and the media. Rumours of fraud also begin to circulate as his suspicious investments are scrutinised. Desperate to escape his dire circumstances, Stonehouse hatches a secret plan inspired by the Day of the Jackal. He plans to leave his old life behind by faking his own death and starting a new identity in Miami, using the opportunity of a ministerial trip there as cover. But can he bring himself to leave his family and the real John Stonehouse behind? Michael Jastun remembers Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy 10 p.m. BBC 4. Michael Jastun remembers Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy, is a documentary that looks back at the classic BBC television series Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy, which aired in 1979. The series, which was based on the novel of the same name by John Le Carr, follows the efforts of intelligence officer George Smiley, played by Alec Guinness, to uncover a Soviet mole within the British Secret Service. The documentary features interviews with Michael Jay's Tun, who played the character of Peter Gillum in the series. Jay's Tun reflects on his experience working on the show and shares behind-the-scenes stories and anecdotes. He also discusses the impact of the series and the enduring appeal of Lacaris' work. Overall, Michael Jay's Tun remembers Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy, is a nostalgiciac and informative look back at a classic television series. Episodes of the show follow after and later in the week. Tuesday, the 3rd of January, 2023. Stonehouse, 2 of 3, 9 p.m. ITV may contain spoilers. John Stonehouse, on the run in Melbourne, becomes the subject of suspicion for local police after he draws attention to himself at a jazz club. Back in the UK, the government is desperate to find him as the Labour Party has lost an important vote and Stonehouse's disappearance could have significant consequences. On Christmas Eve, Stonehouse is arrested and initially thought to be the missing peer Lord Lucan, but further questioning and evidence reveal the truth. He is forced to call home to his wife Barbara, who has been preparing herself and their children for the possibility that he may never return. Despite his refusal to resign, Wilson sends his chief aide, Betty Boothroyd, to convince Barbara to fly to Australia to meet with Stonehouse. When she arrives, she must confront Stonehouse's excuses and Sheila's suspicious presence at a rural safe house where they are staying. In an effort to bring Stonehouse back to the UK, Wilson calls in a favour from the Australian High Commissioner. Wednesday the 4th of January 2023. Stonehouse, 3 of 3, 9pm ITV may contain spoilers. As John Stonehouse and Sheila Buckley stand trial for their actions, the fate of Wilson's government hangs in the balance and Barbara Stonehouse debates the worth of saving her marriage. Despite being released on bail, Barbara does not trust her husband and moves him into the spare room. As the case moves to criminal court, secret letters between Stonehouse and Buckley are revealed in court, causing tension between the couple. Meanwhile, the government's situation remains precarious as Stonehouse misses two votes in a week and delivers a controversial speech criticizing the political status quo. Wilson personally reprimands Stonehouse in an unusual exchange. As the trial approaches, Stonehouse decides to represent himself, despite the judge's warning. During the trial, Stonehouse is forced to confront his mistakes and his mortality. After the trial, Barbara divorces him and Stonehouse, feeling disillusioned with the political system, joins the English National Party. As he reflects on his past, Stonehouse wonders if he is regretful for the choices he has made. Thursday, the 5th of January, 2023. The Real Stonehouse, 9 p.m., ITV1. Stonehouse, an ITV1 drama starring Matthew McFadden and Keely Hawes, tells the story of former Labour MP John Stonehouse, who was a rising political star and a minister in the Harold Wilson government. In December 1974, Stonehouse's clothes were found on a Miami beach, and it was assumed that he had drowned or been eaten by sharks. However, after five weeks of searching, he was found alive and well in Australia, living under an assumed name. It was revealed that Stonehouse had faked his own death because his business empire was collapsing and he had stolen new identities to avoid prosecution. 
He was later sentenced to seven years in prison for fraud at the Old Bailey. This documentary, a companion to the ITV1 drama, delves into the real-life story of John Stonehouse through interviews with his family, colleagues, and experts. It includes exclusive interviews with the UK and Australian police officers who brought him to justice and offers insights into Stonehouse's double life, including his affair with his secretary Sheila Buckley, who knew he was alive. The film also examines allegations that Stonehouse had spied for the Czech Secret Service and had been paid to pass information to the Soviet bloc. Friday the 6th of January 2023. The Reef Lectures, 1, Freedom of Speech, 1 of 4, 9 p.m. BBC Radio 4. Freedom of speech is a fundamental human right that allows individuals to express their thoughts, opinions, and ideas freely without fear of censorship or punishment. It is protected by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution and is considered a cornerstone of democratic societies. However, freedom of speech is not absolute and can be limited in certain circumstances, such as when it incites violence or defames someone's character. Some forms of speech, such as hate speech or child pornography, are not protected by the First Amendment and can be legally prohibited. There is ongoing debate about the limits of freedom of speech and whether certain forms of expression should be considered acceptable or unacceptable. Some argue that cancel culture and calls for wokeness have led to the silencing of certain voices and viewpoints, while others argue that these movements are necessary to protect marginalized groups from hate and discrimination. It is important to strike a balance between protecting the right to free expression and ensuring that everyone is able to participate in public discourse without fear of harm or discrimination. Selections by Pat Harrington